In this video, we're going to look at um, how we can go about finding Taylor polynomials using our formula for the nth order Taylor polynomial for a function f centered at a. So here I'm interested in finding the Taylor polynomial um, p3 at a equals 1 for the function f of x equals the square root of x. And then we want to use that function to approximate the value of the square root of 1 plus um, 0, 06. Okay, so we're trying to find our third order approximation. So we know that p3 of x, um, the third order Taylor polynomial centered at this a equals 1, would be equal to f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times x minus 1 plus the second derivative at 1 times x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial plus the third derivative at 1 times x minus 1 cubed over 3 factorial. So the main computation that we have to do is find the derivatives of our function here, um, the first, second, and third derivatives, and then find the value of those derivatives at 1 to plug them into this formula. Okay, so it's often useful to do this in a chart. So I'm going to make a little chart here with n, um, my nth derivatives here, and then the value of my nth derivatives at 1. This is just a way to organize our work. So I need to go up to the third derivative. So I'm going to have rows for the 0th derivative up to the third derivative. The 0th derivative is the same thing as the original function. So I'll have 0, 1, 2, 3. So the 0th derivative, that's our original function here. Uh, the value of um, our function at 1 is just 1. The first derivative would be 1 half x to the negative 1 half. If I plug 1 into that, I'm getting a value of a half. My second derivative will be negative 1 fourth x to the negative 3 halves. So evaluate that at 1, I'm going to get negative a fourth. And then my third derivative will be this derivative of negative 1 fourth x to the negative 3 halves. So I see that will be positive 3 eighths times x to the negative 5 halves. Evaluate that at 1, and I'm getting 3 eighths. Okay, so I see that I can now write down what my p3 of x is. p3 of x will be um, the value of the function at 1, which is 1, plus the value of the first derivative at 1, so that's 1 half times my x minus 1. The second derivative at 1 is this negative 1 fourth. I'll have that times my x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial. And then I'm going to have my third derivative at 1, which is 3 eighths times x minus 1 cubed all over 3 factorial. Okay, so that answers the question about what the third order Taylor polynomial is. Now what about doing this approximation? I'm trying to approximate the value of 1.06. So notice that that's equal to the function here with 1.06 plugged in for x. Um, I want to approximate this in um, using this, this polynomial. So p3 of 1.06 would be approximately the value of this function at 1.06. So the square root of 1.06 is approximately um, this Taylor polynomial here where I replace x with 1.06 and just plug that in. So it'll be approximately 1 plus 1 half times 1.06 minus 1, so times 0.06, um, minus 0.06 squared divided by 4 times 2, so divided by 8, plus 3 times 0.06 cubed divided by 8 times 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, so I could say divided by 48 there. So we can find what this value is here. We can see that this, approx this particular approximation whoops, would say that the square root of 1.06 is then about 1.029.5635. Um, and what we've done um, with this approximation is we've, we've simplified the kind of operations that we need um, to find an approximate value to the square root of 1.06. I can just use a four function calculator um, to get that approximation. But this, this gives us an idea of how we can use Taylor polynomials to approximate functions. So here's just a graph that shows um, our Taylor polynomial and the um, square root function. So the red graph is that square root function. And then this green graph is my, my p3 of x um, that I have here. And so centered at 1, um, I have that green curve being very close to, to the red curve. So 1.06 being approximated by that green curve is quite a good approximation of the actual value. Um, if you were to find um, 
the square root of 1.06 on a calculator, that would come out to 1.029563014. Uh, so we can see this approximation is very close to the true value. And later we're going to be looking at more questions about um, figuring out how many terms I might need to get my, my error within a certain amount like we've looked at before. Um, and also questions about given a certain approximation, um, what can I say about um, what a bound on that error might be. So look at the next videos to see the answers to those questions about error bounds.